Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm up in the kitchen, and this is going to be another impromptu review of the, another big box item. Bam! This is the Keurig K-Cafe. Now, um, those of you who know me know, well, you may not know because I never really did a review of it, which I'm going to have to now do a review of it before um, or it, even after I do the review of this just to, for the comparison. But um, uh, basically, um, those of you who do know me know that I, uh, I'm a bit of a coffee drinker. Um, as you can see, at the beginning of every one of my kitchen videos, you always see my little coffee puns. Which, uh, but I'm a big coffee drinker. I love my uh, Dunkin' Donuts. A lot of people say, oh, well, then how come you don't like Starbucks? I like Starbucks too, but I prefer Dunkin' Donuts on a regular and Starbucks occasionally. But now I'm hooked on this new Canadian um, coffee company called Tim Hortons. Look, look, if you haven't had them, look, I, I'm here to tell you. That's a whole other video, though. I'll get into that another time. This time we're going to be doing a review of the Keurig K Cafe. Um, I got this like I was explaining because it does not only just the Keurig K-Cups, but it also does um, uh, cappuccinos and lattes, which, hey, if you're a coffee drinker, who couldn't benefit from that? And that brings me over to this machine, my Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista, which now that I have this other one, I'm going to have to do a comparison video or at least I'm going to have to at least do a little um, review. I've had this machine for about, I'm going to say... Uh, three years and I absolutely love it I use it all the time um, I grind up my own coffee beans and um, I put it in here and I suspect I'll do probably do the same thing for the k-cups um, until they start making the k-cup espresso and then uh, maybe uh, I won't have to grind up any beans more but the review is not about this we'll get to that later and um, the review is about the k-cafe so let's get back to that okay back to this so um, this is how it was shipped to me um, Got the little uh, Keurig K Cafe box here. I'm not sure if there's another box inside of it, so I'm gonna go around this one. And should there be another one, we'll go around that one too. Um, that's on this side right here. I received it today. Um, mailman dropped it in the. It was raining outside. He left it out there. Lucky my dog started barking and I saw it, so I was able to get it out the rain. I decided to let the box dry before I do the review. It's like 11:30 at night here, and I'm doing a review on this. That's the top of the box. And that's the bottom of the box. Bong. Okay, now let's get into this big box and hopefully this right here makes it easy. It looks like it does. Maybe I thought it did. Okay, there's a box inside a box. All right. I'm going to speed this up so that way you got to see all this. But you can see it without actually having to sit through it. Okay, we're finally in the box here. Bomb. Okay, top of the box. Let's get brewing, K-Cafe. You know, literature, you know, we don't do that, so. Toss that to the side. From the videos that I've watched, the very few videos, pretty much just the advertisement, I think there's only one other video on this. This is your milk um, brewing or frothing cup here. We'll get to that later. stuck in here so we don't miss out on nothing throw that in the box down there okay it looks like it's nice and simple so let's part you know just so you know pardon is shaking because I do have this mounted room you know around my neck so that way I can use both hands and film because um, that way you get the I get the first person view here so just kind of bear with me, please. Ain't nothing else in the box there. Put that to the other 
side. Okay, bomb. So now let's get this out of the plastic. Okay, there we have it. This is the machine. Let's start moving the tape off. A lot of tape. Okay, I imagine we got all of it. So now we're presented with the machine. Bung. Oh, the cross right here. Okay, so, bong. This is what she looks like. All right? So, um, let's take a quick gander around it before my battery runs out on this. This is the top of it. There goes all your controls. Six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce cups. A shot espresso. Uh, that's a, that means something, I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure that out. This is the power button. Coffee, latte, and cappuccino. Your, your uh, basic Keurig stuff here k cups going there if you have the um thing for your regular keurig you could pop this out by put your finger underneath it and then you could pop in the um pod there so that way you can make your own coffee instead of using the k cups bon, that pops in out like that here's your water reservoir over here right off the bat i could say that i don't like the fact that this is smaller than your average um capacity but you know it's it's good for what it is popping in right there bong all right you got your frother over here obviously there's some kind of little magnetic this the little thing right there you throw it in there and it it's uh, magnetic somehow so i imagine somehow that does the rotation with the the um whatever milk or cream or whatever you have in there to spin it and heat it up uses mag mag magnet some way somehow okay that's the side view bong your little drip tray down here so you can clean that out nice and simple slides in and out bong like so the back now when you're putting this on yeah just you want to make sure that that part right there is in there i'm sticking that back on bong like so bam okay and this is that view right there bong all right got a little looks like a little three foot cord there so that's long enough for countertop use so now what i'm going to do is on the flip side when i come back in um, i'm going to have this hooked up over in the spot where my current keurig is um and i'm going to take that one off put this one in a spot and then now we're going to brew a couple cups of something and see what we're working with so um see you on the flip real quick i just wanted to show you this um before we uh start setting it up for brewing um this is what it looks like underneath the um the milk frother there's a little mechanism there that has to be pressed down i imagine that's for safety measures Right here, you got your three buttons there. You got cold. So I imagine you could probably do cold, cold or iced coffee or cold brew, or oh no, I don't think cold brew, but maybe like iced coffee or something like that. And you can uh, froth your milk cold. Um, and then you can froth it for a latte and froth it for a cappuccino. It's nice to have those settings there. And I also wanted to show you the bottom of the machine, just so you can see the bottom for those who are into that type of stuff. Bong, that's the bottom. All right. so. When we come back in, um, just the insides again. I don't know if I really got in there before. So when we come back in, we're gonna brew a couple cups. I'm gonna do a, um, a regular cup and at least a uh, latte or a cappuccino, whatever I feel like drinking. So um, once again, see you on the flip. 
all right we back in and um, we're all set up I got my supplies out here got me a little mug and um, so I'm gonna do um, a cap latte and I'm gonna do an iced latte um, so basically I'm just gonna go through the motions so when you first of all you want to put your cake up in there bong and uh, well first of all you want to turn it on so let's turn it on and let it start warming up while I'm, I'm explaining things to you um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bag of uh, ground uh, coffee beans because I have that for you know for a cappuccino or a latte so I'm gonna fill up my That's good enough for what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna do a, a hot one first. So once this warms up, and it takes about three minutes uh, to warm up the first time after it shuts down, and it does automatically shut down after uh, two hours of non-use from the, from the last uh, time you used it, two hours it'll shut down. So while that's warming up, I'm gonna get out the, I'm gonna get out some uh, cream that I'm gonna use. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my frother. Okay, now if you look inside the cup, I don't know if you can see it, you have two lines there. One that's for cappuccino and one that's for latte. The only difference between the two for me playing with it, the only difference between the two is that they're, um, that you get, you know, obviously the cappuccino line is, uh, is, lo is down lower. So you, it's less froth for a cappuccino than it is for a latte, but it's both made the exact the same way. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cappuccino. I'm gonna fill it up to the cap line. Maybe I shouldn't do all this. That's a bit much. I'm gonna add a little bit of half and half to that. It's gonna be too sweet. So add a little bit of half that. Okay, bong. So, it's all the sugar you need, pretty much. Okay, so now that it, it's all heated up, and that took about two minutes, we're gonna put the pot in. Bong, like so. And now you see it's all lit up up top. Now, what you wanna do is, I'm gonna do a regular latte. I'm gonna hit that. And now it's telling me to just press this button right here to get going, or if I wanna add a shot. So if I already had some in there, I could fill it up again and uh, put it back in there and then go for a shot to add some strength to it if I wanted to. I can hit strong on this one so it's already going to be a little stronger. It's going to brew it a little stronger and then I can add a shot. But I'm just going to do a regular latte so I'm just going to hit OK on that. But before I hit OK on that, I want to get that started. Okay, we're going to do a hot. So if you want to just do hot, you just want to hit either latte or cappuccino. If you want to do cold, you have to press cold first and then hit latte or cappuccino. Each time you press it, you'll hear a beep. So because we're doing a cappuccino, I'm gonna hit cappuccino. So a beep once, and then it's starting to work. Bon. And that's gonna take about three minutes, give or take. I mean, <clears throat> not usually won't take more than three minutes. It'll probably take about two minutes. And then it'll beep when it's done, okay? So that's gonna heat, heat the um, milk and cream up and froth it. And I'm gonna let that go for a little bit. <clears throat> so if I wanna do a, the same motion as for a latte, just pressing the latte button, like I said. And if I wanna do like an ice latte, which we'll do next, you'll see how I do that. Okay, that's going for a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit this K on here. And then you're gonna see, okay, you know, I let you know that you hit it, cause it stopped. And you're gonna see, it's very quiet. At least the coffee portion of it. majority of the noise is coming from the actual frothing of the milk see it's coming out you can't even hear it basically now if you anyone who's had a Keurig in the past anyone who owns a Keurig already know that it's not exactly the most quiet machine so technically if you're just using a regular K-cup you wouldn't even 
other than the coffee pouring out into the cup, you wouldn't even be, you wouldn't even hear it. You wouldn't hear the machine hardly. Okay. Bon. That's that's for our cappuccino there. And then as soon as this milk finished frothing up, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, just beat. So that indicates that it's done. Okay, I'm gonna try to be like Starbucks, a little Starbucks barista here. If I can, bear with me. Um, like I said, I am uh, filming while we're going here. So Starbucks, what they generally do is they'll hold back the milk or hold back the froth, I should say, to kind of let the milk blend. Then you got a little bit of suds on top. It's more prevalent with a, with a latte. But, um, bong, that's a cappuccino. Just like that. Bam. Nice and simple. The whole process took, you know, if you don't count the fact that it took the heat up the milk and, uh, I mean, heat up the water and all that stuff, the whole process took the time that it took to warm up the milk. So, two minutes. So, bomb, you can have you a nice cappuccino in two minutes. So, from there, Let's go and do a um, ice latte. So for an ice latte, what I gotta do is I gotta fill my cup up halfway with ice. Appropriately at the Starbucks cup. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dump out my cup into my other grinds. Doesn't have to be cleaned perfectly because I'm using it again. And I'm going to do the same flavors. Shouldn't be so messy. I'm bumping into everything. I'm lucky I'm gonna cut this cup here. Okay. That's good enough. Ordinarily, you wanna try to make sure it's as clean as possible because all those grinds will get into the machine because it is fine grinds. <clears throat> okay, close that down. Bong. Have that again. I'm gonna put my cream and milk up to the latte line this time. So it's filled higher. Okay. I'm gonna get this going. And because it's cold, that doesn't need to go as long. So I'm gonna hit cold. It beeped once for cold. And now I'm gonna hit latte. Now both of them are lit up, and now it's gonna do its thing. But this time it's not gonna heat it up, it's gonna keep it cold, because I'm doing an ice latte. Again, I'm gonna hit latte, and go. And then all it's gonna do is do the same process as before, except it's gonna be poured over ice.
bomb. Now just wait for the milk to finish up. <clears throat> And I'm letting this go in real time so that way you can actually see how long the process is. Ordinarily, something like this, I would speed up. Obviously, it takes a little bit longer to uh, froth it up when it's uh, cold. The heat has something to do with uh, the, you know, the speed of frothing it, I guess. Because it's taking a little bit longer than uh, it did when it was uh, the heated uh, froth. All right, and we're done. So I'm gonna pull out our cup. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this off. Got our nice thick froth there, and it's nice and cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block a lot of the froth, let the milk get underneath it, as much as I possibly can, I should say. It's not seeming to work very well. I'm obviously not a Starbucks barista, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Bong. It'll give that a little turn there a little bit. Boom, it's good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. And what they do advise is that you wash down your, uh, you know, your cup immediately after using. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a little bit of water in there. So, bong. Um, that's how you make an ice latte with your, you know, Keurig K Cafe. And this is how you make a hot latte or a cappuccino with your Keurig K Cafe. So, I know you may be thinking, okay, what about a regular cup of coffee? So, we're going to go ahead and do that regular cup of coffee. I'm going to pour this, pull this out. Put the cup back, grab me out any old okay cup. Okay, those of you who know, no, donut donut shop, regular coffee, bong. Alright, put that in, lit up again, just press coffee. And then now you want to select your size you know, six, eight, 10, or 12 ounce. It's good that it does all four. So I'm gonna say that's about an eight ounce cup. So we're gonna go with eight. And then after we select eight, then we gotta hit the K. Bong. Now you're gonna see how fast this really goes. See, look at that. fresh brewed cup of coffee using your Keurig K Cafe. <clears throat> so I have to say that this machine right here is very versatile. Um, you could do a lot in a short amount of time. So, and um, you know, it's a, it's, a little, you know, it's a little much up front, but in the long run, you're gonna save money because now you can make your own lattes and stuff like that instead of having to run to Starbucks and, or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. So I'm gonna say this is a definite get. I'll put the links in the description where you can get it, but I have to definitely, definitely get this. If you can get this, get it. Um, I'm surprised Bed Bath & Beyond or Walmart's not carrying it yet, but I'm sure it's just a matter of time. But um, like I said, you put the I'll put the links on Amazon where you can get it, and then you can get it. Oh yeah, one more thing. I just want to say that I will definitely be putting this up against the uh, ca my Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista and I uh, do a head-to-head -head competition with it to see which one performs the best. So uh, look out for that video. Um, so with that being said, 
I'm Nez, and I'm up in the kitchen doing another impromptu review on the Keurig K Cafe. Cop that. Links will be in the description. I'm out this piece.